I cannot take myself seriously. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously. But y'all see the coverage though. The coverage is there. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and in today's video we're going to be doing the full blown shebang. We're going to be chit chatting but we're going to be doing everything from head to toe. So we're doing the hair, the makeup, the outfit and even the perfume. And before we hop into this get ready with me, we're going to have a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Delcier Perfumes. If y'all have not heard of Delcier Perfumes, y'all been living... I don't know where y'all been living under a rock somewhere because Dossier Perfumes is that girl, okay? Dossier Perfumes is a perfume company that not only just sells amazing smelling perfumes, but they smell amazing perfumes that are dupes of high-end brand perfumes, okay? Yeah, yes, you heard me right. So you know like the YSL, the Tom Fords, the Gucci, the Dolce & Cabana, all that, all those like $300, $200 perfumes? Yeah, they sell them for about $40, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. About $40, you can get that same exact scent, that same exact perfume, but a fraction of the cost. I absolutely love Dossier Perfumes. From the moment they reached out, I was sold because the whole idea, the whole concept of it is just, I don't know how nobody's ever even thought of it before. Because not every girl or guy can afford to spend $200, $300, even upwards of $500 on a perfume, but Dossier Perfume makes it affordable for everyone. They have women's and men's perfume on their websites, and they will have the name of the perfume and the perfume that it is inspired by. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys two perfumes that I have. So the first one that I have is Musky Musk. First of all, the packaging is so cute. Each perfume comes in a little box like this, and you can also do a refund with no problem. If you do not like the scent, all you have to do is rebox it, send it back, and they will send you a brand new perfume. So like I said, this perfume is the Musky Musk, and it comes with a cute little card that has all of the notes on it, the concentration, and just a little bit about the perfume. So this Musky Musk was inspired by Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. Y'all, I went to Sephora and smelt the actual perfume, like the real one, and I, I instantly fell in love. So I knew that when I was gonna order from Dossier, I had to order that same scent. And y'all, it smells so good. It has such a musky smell. And typically I don't like super musky scents, but I absolutely love this musky musk. So the notes, the top notes, it actually has no top notes. I've never seen that before, but it has no top notes. The middle notes, are Cetalox and ISO E Super and its base notes are Habonalide and Musk. Y'all, if y'all could smell this, I really wish Smell-O-Vision was a thing so y'all could smell these perfumes through the screen because, oh my God, so good. And the second scent that I'm gonna show you guys is the Floral Rhubarb and this one is inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect Perfume. I love the Marc Jacobs Perfect Perfume. I remember I was walking in like uh, Macy's one day and this lady lady would not let me pass her by without making me smell the Marc Jacobs Perfect. And as soon as I smelled it, I, I was in love. I was like, I have to go back for that perfume. I have to go back for that perfume. But y'all, I was just like, it's so expensive. To me, I didn't have the money to blow on that perfume. So I was just like, I don't feel like getting it. I can't, I love it so much, but I just cannot afford it right now. I cannot rationalize my mind spending that much money on a perfume. Y'all, don't worry about it. Dossier got you covered with the little $30 to $50 range perfume with the same exact scent. And I'm not joking, it smells exactly like it. Like there, I mean, I, 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 would, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. Now I know after all that, y'all are ready to try Dossier perfume. So I got y'all, I got y'all. I'm gonna hook y'all up with a little coupon code. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys so you guys can get money off when ordering Dossier perfumes. And I'll also leave a link in the description box down below and my code down there as well. So a big thank you to Dossier Perfumes for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get right into the Get Ready With Me. All right y'all, so let's hop into it. And I'm not wearing a bra, I'm wearing a bralette. It just, be looking like a bra, okay? So I'm gonna just spray my hair. Or really, I might just let y'all watch me because this is gonna be like a quick process. I'm just doing like a ponytail, like a cute high ponytail. Um, Cause it's hot and it's humid as heck here. I don't know why. But it's so hot here right now. And I was gonna do like a quick weave and like have like a very blonde, and like not blonde, blonde, brown, like cute little like long hair. Cute. It was gonna be cute, real cute for the weekend. But the way this heat set up, I was like, nah, bro, boo or bro mixed together. Um, we gonna do a ponytail because I just gotta have this up and out of my face. So that's what I'm doing. Um, Y'all can just watch me do it. It's not really much to it. 
but we're just gonna put our hair in a little bun and then put like a little drawstring pony over it. That's all I'm doing. y'all so boom ponytail is done i'm gonna play with it a little bit more because it's kind of giving me like princess vibes like it's a little i might have put it a little too high but the other day i put it too low and i hated how i had it but it's like i need to be right here it's like a little too high we'll see how it looks like after doing makeup and stuff i might change my mind but yeah let's go ahead and get into the makeup let's go ahead and get into the chit chat because uh, i feel like i haven't talked to y'all in so long like there's so much for us to catch up on and so many things for me to get off my chest and say. Actually, we're gonna put a hold on that real quick because y'all know I cannot talk and do my brows. So I'm gonna do my brows. I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. I'm just gonna do my brows real quick um, so we can get to the chit chat because y'all, I got some stuff I gotta say, some stuff I gotta talk about, some stuff I've really been, yeah. We gonna go ahead and do these brows real quick, okay? I'm going in with the Benefit uh, Brow Microfilling Pen in the shade Deep Brown. Everything will be, link be linked down below for you guys if you want to use it. I'm going to be using the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Concealer just to carve my brows out. And after this, y'all be done with the brows, okay? And then I can talk to y'all on top be messy with y'all that's really what we gonna do <laughs> 
So I'm going in with the Spanglish palette with this uh, brown color. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. So y'all, what we're really about to talk about, first things first, because I posted this on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, then you should be following me. But I posted on Instagram because I seen Angie Tacho. I don't know if y'all follow her on YouTube or subscribe to her or whatever. Um, she posted something that really got my attention and really made me be like, yeah, you know what? I agree with you and I don't like that at all either. So we're going to talk about it, okay? So Angui, she posted this post. I'll like put it on the screen for you guys so you can see what it said. And she said something like, basically that people are saying like, influencers this, influencers that blah 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 and it was like follow and she said follow better people like y'all steady hating on influencers but y'all y'all decided to follow them do you get what i'm saying so i want to i i want to put my little two cents in because first of all let's just let's just start with that alone what she said i agree with the girl 100 percent because people love to hate on people and say like, I hate influencers. I don't understand. All they want to do is travel and buy bags and You sound jealous, boo. You sound jealous for one. That's just, we just gonna start with there. Nine times out of 10, the people who are like saying stuff about influencers, are, influencers I mean, um, really just are really mad. They can't do that shit themselves. Last time I checked, you can decide to follow whoever you want on social media, whether that's YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, OnlyFans, whatever social media platform. I don't know why OnlyFans popped in my head. Whatever social media platform you are using, you decide to click the button whether you want to follow that person or not. So to me, it's like if you see a, a influencer, and let's just break out of what an influencer is real quick. An influencer is somebody who lives their life, right? Puts a lot of it on social media and influences people to buy certain things or do certain things, right? So they just live their life and here and there there's collaborations, partnerships, all that stuff to where people say, here, do this, I'll pay you to use this lipstick and you can, and hopefully people will buy it, right? More money for the company, right? That's what it is. So it's really not like the the influencer is doing necessarily anything wrong. They're not going out their way and like, you know what I mean, doing something out of the ordinary. It's kind of stuff that they normally would do anyway, but it's just kind of more, I guess, promotional marketing standpoint. You feel? You feel. So anyways, like I was saying, you get to decide whether you want to follow a certain influencer or not. So influence are regular people so I'm really just gonna be like your regular ass person so if I see you on Instagram I find you somehow you're on my explore page and I look at you and I see oh they travel a lot they have a lot of like um, expensive shoes and cars and bags um, they wear a lot of jewelry and it looks like they have a lot of money and they only wear brand names right if I don't like that type of stuff I won't follow it's almost so simple that me even saying it out loud, it almost felt really stupid that some people even, like, even really considered saying stuff about influencers or, like, all influencers are the same. She mentioned, Angui mentioned on there, like, all influencers t uh, dress the same, all influencers do the same. Babes, there's a such thing as trends, fashion trends, um, color trends, um, language trends, you know, the whole sis, the whole, um, it's the this for me. It's called trends, babe. Stuff happens to where the collective society does similar stuff during periods of time, bro. It's fucking science. Now I'm going in with the Desi and Katie Frankation palette and I'm gonna be going in with, I don't wanna make this eyeshadow too dark, so I'm just going in with this lighter brown. But yeah, like I was saying, it's it's science, sis. Like, it's it's literally broken down to a science for people. But for some reason, people just want to always push it off and be like, no, influencers just all just want to be the same. Influencers do, 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 do. Bro, last time I checked, you're doing the same stuff too. But for some reason, you want to hate on them just because they're posting it and they're getting paid off of it. Meanwhile, you're doing it for free. Meanwhile, you're over here doing it for free and mad and bitter. 
I don't understand. I don't understand. There's so many other ways that you could be spending your time, but a lot of people decide to spend their time worried about other people. And that's what blows me. That's the part that really blows me. Is I've heard people say like, first of all, I've heard people say like influencing is like a dumb job and like it doesn't take any talent to influence. Um, while it might not take any necessarily talent, let's just say you're not a makeup influencer because i know beauty influencers it does take talent right because you have to like do makeup and all that type of stuff but let's just say you're like one of those like like tana mojo like that type where she really doesn't no shade of tana like girl you doing your thing but i'm just saying like where she doesn't necessarily do anything specific that is like her niche right she just basically lives her life and she just gets paid for doing that pretty much right even though it might not take necessarily talent, it still takes a whole lot of like busy, business savviness and a business mindset where that is, a t I mean, that's a talent essentially, being business minded and being able to negotiate brand deals, being able to um, maneuver through the world of with different like companies and brands and decide like which route you'll take in terms of like content creation it's all like business oriented like that's a major in school like that's like you can literally go to school for a business but like forget all about that for some reason i don't understand it's like i feel like people are so mad and want to just hate influencers so bad that they just like forget all logic and rationale and just and just go and just hate period Okay, now I'm just grabbing a white eyeshadow and I'm putting that on my lid and I'm gonna just blend it out with the browns. I just wanna do like white, I don't know, but I don't want this glitter. Girl! <laughs> I started saying that as a joke and now I say it all the time, seriously, and I don't like it. And another thing she said too that I was just like, uh, yeah, was she was like, follow better people then. Follow different influencers. Like you're f acting like you're forced to follow these people right like I, it is literally beyond me why people act like they are forced to follow somebody like i actually it really is crazy to me like people will be like oh i don't follow that person but how come you like every single one of their pictures that's so that's that's sick right that's like sick in the head a little bit like how do you not you don't follow somebody, but for some reason, you're still liking your pictures under their pictures, but then you'll talk shit and say you don't like them. Somebody sounds obsessed. Somebody sounds a little weird and a little psychopathic, if you will. Okay, that like lightened it up real cute, like. Um, I think we're just, I think we're done with the eyes for now. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the face while I tell you guys the rest of my thoughts. I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Grit Primer. I haven't used this one in a while, but oh my God, I have glitter all over my hand. Whatever, I'm just gonna have glitter on my face, whatever. It literally doesn't matter. But um, it just sounds so psychopathic and it sounds so twisted. Like any logical person would be able to be like, oh, okay, you don't like them? Okay, don't follow them. Oh, okay, you don't follow them? Then don't look them up. If you don't follow somebody, isn't it because you don't want to follow them anymore? Why would you continuously go to their page to see what they're doing and like their pictures still and still talk about them? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And it's also like there's so many different types of influencers out there. There's like influencers who are super like religious and in church. There are influencers who are um, social workers and activists. There's influencers who do makeup and beauty and fashion. There's influencers who are artists. like actual artwork there's influencers who are architects there's influencers who are interior designers there's so many different influencers that you could choose to follow but for some reason you choose to follow the people you hate you choose to follow the people that you don't like and this is what brings me to my point for foundation i'm using the oma beauty foundation this is the say say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation and i use this once i love this foundation it's it comes out super duper watery and i was like well hold up like what kind of coverage is that gonna give and i put it on my face and it was such great coverage so that's what i'm using today but like i was saying this is now what brings me to my point in that i really i truly truly believe in my heart my soul and my spirit 
that these people who are saying they don't like these people and they don't I don't like influencers I don't like them they don't have any talent they, 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 they. babes you're just mad it's not you that's my point you're just mad it's not you oh my god this did not look that light when I did it the other day I got some sun girl I didn't even realize it's okay well we'll it look crazy right now but we gonna fix it okay i look real crazy talking right now i got some nerve talking about this stuff while my makeup look like this but whatever but babes you're just mad it's not you i have gotten so much sun over the past week because when i used this a week ago it was not this light it matched good and now it's like so white i mean i'm gonna fix it but i just feel bad talking to you guys with all this discoloration on my face I cannot take myself seriously i cannot <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously, but y'all see the coverage though. The coverage is there. I love this Oma Beauty uh foundation. The coverage is there, babes, but I just I don't know. I did not realize I got this much sun. Like I knew I was outside a lot, but damn oh, This is a shame. You know what we're gonna do? Because I can't stand looking at myself like this anymore. I'm gonna grab the NYX Born to Glow Mahogany. This is in the shade Mahogany foundation. I This is like my dark foundation for like when stuff like this happens. Because I know for a fact this matched me before um, when I used it the first time. But clearly I got a little more sun. So I have like a darker foundation that I use when stuff is too light. I just mix it in. So that, you know, it becomes my skin tone a little bit more so. So let's do this real quick before I finish talking because I can't take myself seriously looking like a damn ghost. Okay, but anyway, back to what I was saying. So what I was saying was that um, I really do feel like the people who say like they don't like influencers and all that type of stuff, they're really battling with some demons inwardly and that they're really just jealous, bitter, jealous. Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use some concealer now. This is the Oma Beauty Concealer. And I hope this is not too light, but I mean, it's gonna be, but I'm gonna like really not use that much. There we go. But I just feel like you are just jealous it's not you. I think you just don't like that it's not you. The more you know. That's what I really think it is. You just don't like that it's not you. And it's okay because everybody has those types of feelings, right? Like everybody has like those moments. And if you don't, good for you, girl. But everybody has those moments where it's like you find yourself being a little jealous or being a little envious. It's like a natural human emotion. So most people have it like from time to time. But what makes you like somebody who is working on themselves, who has like growth and all that type of stuff is whether you're able to put it in check or not. Are you like, can you internalize it and say, wow, I'm jealous because it's not me, but I shouldn't feel this way because da 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 or wow, I'm jealous it's not me and I hate them and I don't like them da da da. Like you see how one one sounds so like negative and just, just has so much negative energy in it while the other is um not. Like I remember at one point in my life, I found myself being negative and like being jealous. Like I was just like, oh my God, like they don't, they don't deserve that, da, 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 da. They're not even a good person, da, 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 da. Why do they have this? Why do they have that, da, da, da. And I realized in that moment, I don't know how, but I just realized in that moment that I was really just mad that I, I was, that wasn't me. And from that point on, this was probably like in high school too. Like this wasn't like recent. I was able to realize that in high school and I was like you know what just how that person was able to make that for themselves and how and what I'm jealous of I could do the same thing they are just like me they put in work to get to where they're at that can make me put in work so honestly I think now I've trained my mind from high school all the way to now and I'm like a grown woman right 
I don't even feel jealousy. I, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel it every once in a blue moon just like I said it's a natural emotion that sometimes creeps up on you without you realizing it. I'm just being honest with y'all and if you want to say you don't experience it you're probably lying but whatever that whatever but I know now like in my um in my mind jealousy isn't even really like an emotion that I experience anymore it is almost instantaneously motivation so if I see something that it's like dang like they just they just bought a new car and then they bought a new house right old high school young jasmine might have thought like why is it not me da, da, da. now grown woman jazz is just thinking like oh bet that's just motivation for me to do it because i know i can because i know that they're no better than me i know that they're no better than me i'm no better than them so it's capable right it's motivating to me and i wish people would realize that and that staying in that negative space is doing nothing but making negative things come to you and you just be in a little funk with a little cloud of your head with a little rain coming on y'all like eeyore yeah with a with the rain cloud following you around that's what you're doing by allowing yourself to stay in that negative type of space now i'm gonna take the fit me a loose finishing powder in the shade 30 and i'm gonna set my under eyes I'm gonna like double set so this is I'm gonna set this on pretty much like my whole face and then I'm gonna go back in and bake with some brighter setting powder underneath just my eyes only yeah once you realize these things about yourself you can kind of get it into check and and turn it into something so positive positive. and it's crazy because a lot of the people that you see like under people's comments like being super nasty and negative and mean um they are negative nasty and mean people and they live nasty negative and mean lives right because that's what they're attracting and this is kind of getting into like the whole manifestation stuff that i personally believe in like manifestation and all that type of stuff i believe you are what you attract so the more positive you are and the more light that you put out the more that you'll receive back so if you're putting out nothing but negative energy negative vibes that's what you're gonna get back now i'm going up to laura mercier honey and this is a setting loose setting powder and i'm gonna put that under my eye y'all i didn't even tell you where i was going i don't know why in case you're wondering where i'm going i'm going to um my sister's like birthday night out i guess i don't know where i'm going so that's why but i'm going out for my sister's birthday and um yeah i just want to get real cute decided to do this good right with me now i'm using the hula caramel bronzer and i'm gonna bronze my face up so it don't look too ashy i love this bronzer shade like you see how it's like not too dark and not too muddy it's just like the perfect perfect brown bronze color for my skin tone i love it but yeah that just kind of comes with i feel like growing up and becoming like an adult is you coming to terms and realizing like your true feelings and reasons behind the things the reasons behind the reasons behind whoa what is my brain doing right now reasons behind okay there we go <laughs> reasons behind why you do the things you do i just had a stroke because i don't know why i could not get that out that's part of growing up right being able to realize like i do this because of this i do this because of this this isn't really the outward emotion that i'm pushing out to the world is not really how i feel right like a lot of times we'll put anger out if we might be hurt and this is something that I kind of like came to terms to with not too long ago. Well, like I guess I always knew it, but I guess I laid it out for myself like super obviously. Was that a lot of times like when I, um, you know, lash out in anger, maybe like even just like an attitude or something like that. It's really just because I'm hurt. It's really because I'm sad. That's the real root emotion is hurt pain sadness but because that you know i like stuff i've been through in life and like trying to put on 
a strong face it's like oh i'm sad but i'm gonna show you angry oh i'm sad so i'm gonna show you strength whatever my version of what i think strength is right i'm gonna yell at you cuss you out do all this stuff but it might be because you really hurt my feelings right but i don't want to show that vulnerable side of me i just want to protect myself and that's how i protect myself and that's something we're still working on boo because it's hard it's definitely hard as an adult to get through problems that you've been dealing with for your whole life you know what i mean if you're 20 something years old you've been dealing with some of these problems for 20 something years and that is very 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 hard to you know fix all right y'all what are we thinking are we looking yes we are yes we are yes 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 we are okay so now we're gonna get into blush a little bit do i want to do the light blush babe so you want to do the light one okay so this blush is from hip dot it's a super pretty i don't know if y'all can see it it's such a pretty pink color i'm gonna apply that oh why not just do that oh uh okay we're gonna blend it we're gonna blend it because i like to blend a super light pink brush into my that's very pink wow did i just run my makeup look no because i can always fix things because i'm a ultimate finesser but and now i'm gonna go in with a darker blush because we gotta fix this um this is the morphe y'all i only have a few blush i need to invest in more blushes because i feel like i'm using the same blushes every time but this is the morphe trio de blush blush trio oh yeah blush trio. i was writing in spanish uh in the pop of coral i'm using like this darker blush so that i can transition this super pink one into that dark one so it doesn't look so harsh now i'm gonna do a little highlighter on my nose i know i love to put a little highlighter my nose, nose, nose. You know, sick and tired of the promises, promises. I put a little pop in my inner corner too. Cause y'all know I love the pops, babes. Pops in the nose, pops in the eyes. Cute. I'm loving how this look is coming together. I feel like the, a lot of blush is just matching like this ponytail vibe right now. All right, now I'm going in with this lip liner. This is the Straight Lovin' Lip Liner by The Lip Bar. I do have a code with them, so if you guys want to check down below, it'll be down there, there for you to use. All right, so our lips are lined. And now for lip gloss, I'm gonna be using this new Kaja lip gloss. Um, it's an, I don't know if it's actually new, but it's new to me. I just got it from Sephora. It's called the Glass Shot Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Milk Tea. And I like it, because it's a very like clear, moisturizing gloss. So pretty much now all we have to do is apply lashes and we are done. I don't know what lashes I'm going to wear today. You know what? I'm going to go with the Mila Lashes by Noella Lashes. Love these lashes. They give such a fox-eyed effect. I don't even know why I second guessed. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these lashes on. They're pretty much dry. Y'all are going to see what a difference these lashes make on my eye. Oh, I love these lashes. Like I said, these are no other lashes in the style Mila. They're not even on all the way yet, but you see it. You see it. I'm sorry but with these lashes on you can't tell me anything you can't like they're so pretty so now I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills lash brag volumizing mascara yep y'all this is my go-to babe so I don't even have to look I know the name oh for real but I'm just gonna add a little bit to the top of my lashes just to 
um, blend in the lashes with my falsies. And then I'm gonna put some on the bottom. Okay, I'm sorry, but do I look like a doll? Or do I look like a doll? So now that hair and makeup is done, we're gonna go ahead and put this outfit on so y'all can see the final okay, look. Okay guys, so this is the outfit that I'm wearing. Um, it's like a Harley Davidson inspired like graphic, like t-shirt dress. Um, I got it from Windsor. Um, I am 5'10", for those of you guys who don't know, I am very tall and um, it fits me pretty good. It comes about like midway down my thigh and it has these little like ties on the side so that um you can like make it longer or shorter um i am wearing it with this dress uh, girl i'm wearing it with this purse so this is like a little orange like little purse the oranges don't really match because i really wanted them to match like perfectly this one does a little bit more neon in on camera than it does in person it actually matches a little bit better in person for some reason it's coming off really really orange on camera but i'm wearing this bag with it i'll probably wear it more so down here because i don't really like wearing like shoulder bags on my shoulder i feel like it makes me look like i'm a child the shoes that i'm wearing with it i don't have them on but i have them right here they're these fashion nova strap up heels y'all these are so cute again i thought the orange would match a little bit actually it matches pretty good in person for some reason the light right here is making it look like it doesn't but it really it really matches so these are the heels that i'm wearing they strap up and i'm gonna strap them on my leg they're a nice little like square toe and they have a clear hit heel i love these shoes they're so cute definitely cute for a picture because I don't know if a girl is gonna be really be able to walk in them. I'm probably gonna change it to like some different heels that I have, some like lower ones, so I can actually walk around and like you know get lit. But um, yeah, these are the earrings that I'm wearing. These are very like thick, chunky hoops. I got these from H and M, I believe. I'll tag either these ones exactly or very similar ones. Um, down below, everything will be tagged. What I'm wearing, purse, shoes, all that type of stuff, will be down below. But um, yeah, that's all the jewelry I'm wearing and then my wedding ring, of course. I'm not really wearing any jewelry because I felt like this look was just so like, I don't know, grungy, edgy. And then the shoes were all laced up and the bag was orange. I just didn't want to do too much. So yeah, you guys, that is the outfit. But yeah, you guys, I hope that you like the hair, makeup, and outfit. Now we got to put on our little scenty scent that I told y'all in the beginning we was going to put on. I'm going to wear the Musky Musk tonight. This is inspired by Juliet Has a Gun. Like I said, all the dossier information and links will be down in the description box below. It's just so alluring. This scent. I don't know. I love it. I love it. All right, y'all. So our hair is done, makeup's done, outfit's done, and we smelling good. And it's time to go. I'm sad to see y'all leave. I had so much fun getting ready with you guys. Um, I hope to do more videos like this in the future. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see a more full-blown get ready with me's. And let me know some topics that you guys might want me to talk about in a future get ready with me chit chats, you know, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.